Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read, and today I'm going to be giving book recommendations to Heartstopper characters. So I'm sure all of you have watched the Heartstopper series on Netflix. It is amazing. I absolutely adore it. It was such a cute show and they did such a good job of creating these characters from the graphic novel, bringing them to life, and making them almost identical to how they are in the graphic novels. They were done so well. The cast was phenomenal. The show was great. They need to have a season two so we can get more of the volumes because they only really dived into like the first two volumes of the series. So there's so much more that they can do. And yeah, so I really hope that it gets renewed. Anyways, today I decided I would give book recommendations to the Heartstopper characters. So I have a list of the main ones in like the main friend group. And what I'm gonna do is recommend a book to each character. Pretty much just like based on what I think this character would like. I will also say that all these books are recommended after I've read them. So like I wasn't gonna recommend any books that I haven't personally read yet. These are all ones that I have already read and experienced these stories. So that's why I chose the ones I did because I had to go with a selection of books that I actually had read. So, Without further ado, let's start, and I'm gonna start with Charlie. If I was recommending a book to Charlie, I would recommend to them The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. That is because Charlie is a character that already kind of like knows who they are, they're very open about who they are, and they're just so expressive to their friend group while also staying reserved to themselves and kind of like dealing with their own issues. So the same thing kind of happens in this book. So The Black Flamingo is about a character named Michael who is growing up through his life, discovering what he likes, but always very, very outgoing and outward about who he is. And it's just, it's such a beautiful novel. It's written in verse, so it's, it's very poetic and beautiful. And I think these two characters are just very similar in a sense and would would be really good friends and so that's why I think Charlie would enjoy reading this because he would find some relatability with the main character of this book. Then of course we have Nick Nelson and so for Nick I would recommend Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda because Nick is also kind of like struggling with his sexuality and being confused about like what he wants Simon in this book is struggling with his sexuality and how he is going to come out to different people in his life and Nick is battling with those same things. So I think that Nick would really relate to this character as well. They're both going through similar situations. I just think that Nick would find comfort in this book knowing that going through this process he's not alone. Others have gone through it before and there are people there that can support him in his time of need when he has to have that support network and so yeah I think that he would kind of like see those things in this book and enjoy the story quite a bit because this is a really beautiful book I really adore this book and I think I think Nick would like it too the next recommendation I have is for Tori Tori is such a great character because every time they're on the screen they command the screen and like all focus is on them they're also a very not passive aggressive but they're also a very to themselves straight to the point kind of character and so for them i chose through the woods one reason being this whole aesthetic of this graphic novel is very much tori she's just kind of like like a dark and mysterious and like brooding character that's in the background but when they are in the foreground they have like very quick to the point quips that they have and then everything like moves on. This is a collection of like horror style graphic novels and a lot of the characters in these books are kind of very similar to Tori in the sense that they will like stand back, assess a situation, and then vocalize what they're thinking. They're very like analytical about how they do things and so that's why I thought that this also would bring joy to Tori. Not that you would see the joy on their face, but <laughs> I think they would really like this book. Next up we have Darcy, and so this is Taro's girlfriend. She is very, like, 
outspoken, very outgoing. And so I think a perfect recommendation for them would be Crier's War, because this book is about a character named Ayla, who is human, and an Otome, which is kind of like half human, half robot character um, named Cryer. And in this story, these two characters kind of come together a lot because these two like races, the humans and the Otome, are not necessarily friendly. Like the Otome kind of control humans or kind of like govern over them. And so the humans don't exactly like the Otome that much. But in this book, these two characters have to kind of work together to solve some issues, solve some problems. So this one is kind of like a wild ride of adventure, and I think that that's something that would be up Darcy's alley, because Darcy is a very outgoing character that seems to like adventure. So I think this would be a really good one for them. And I also think that they would enjoy the romance aspects of it as well. Next up we have Tara, which is Darcy's girlfriend. And for Tara, I chose the book Some Girls Do, um, this one is about two girls that meet in high school and they kind of start a relationship but the two girls are kind of like working through how to express this relationship out in public. One girl doesn't really want to be very forward and show everybody that they are in a relationship and the other one does want that and so it's kind of like in that sense where one is more out than the other. And in the series, we get to see Tara kind of struggle with this at times. And so I think that she would relate to this book, understand more about like the relationship dynamic. And I think she would take away some things from it. And also she could pass it on to Darcy afterwards. So Darcy could get that insight as well. Then we have Elle. And for Elle, I would choose Cemetery Boys. Now, this is because Cemetery Boys is also focused around a trans main character. And I think Elle would relate to the main character in this book in the sense that they both went through transitions and had to deal with trying to help people around them understand who they were as a person with their families, with school and all of that. So I think that they would relate to the story. Also, they would get some fun adventure out of it because this one deals with like ghosts and a lot of cool spiritual heritage within the different families that are involved. It's also kind of like a little bit of a murder mystery and I think Elle would enjoy kind of like puzzling through that to figure out what's gonna happen in the end. So I think this one would be a great one for Elle to try out. Next up we have Tao. And so for Tao, I could not choose one single book. I chose an entire series. I'm giving Tao the Percy Jackson series because Tao is such a loyal friend. And when I think of loyalty, I think of the characters in this book. They have their their trio of main friends, and they are so loyal to each other. And Tao was loyal to Charlie, like, 100%. There was nothing that was going to make their loyalty waver, and that showed so much in the show. And so I think that Tao would really enjoy this series because they would feel very similar to some of the characters in this as well. Also, this is just, like, a great adventure and I think they would love to follow along with the adventure of all these characters. Then we have Isaac, and so this one was fun because Isaac is always reading a book in like almost all the scenes he's in in the show, and Isaac also was a character added, like they aren't in the books, but I loved every minute of having Isaac on screen. And so for Isaac, I would choose Ready Player One because Isaac seems to know what's going on around them, but they're also kind of like in their own world all the time. <laughs> and so Ready Player One is involving a character who is kind of like in this place called the Oasis, which is like virtual reality. So they're, they're there, they're present, but they're also in another world doing different things. And so, yeah, I think Isaac would enjoy this one. I think they would have a lot of fun like following along with this storyline and they could read this book while they're hanging out with their friends because that's what they seem to do all the time. I also want to know, let me know in the comments down below if you guys were like watching to see what books he was reading as the show went on because I was like trying to pick out each book as it went and it was kind of like a little game within watching the show so it was fun. And lastly we have Nelly and so Nelly, I was thinking about this one and I ended up with The Electric Kingdom because this book has a dog main character that stays with the other main character throughout the entire book and this dog 
is just such a loyal dog. They're so great. And I feel like Nelly would love to see another dog like Nelly represented in a book that is full of adventure, full of just lots of plot twists. I think Nelly would get a lot of enjoyment out of this. I feel like Nick would have to read it to Nelly though, because I'm not sure that Nelly could read the book herself. But yeah, I think they would like it quite a bit. And so those are my book recommendations for Heartstopper characters. Let me know if you agree with my recommendations in the comments down below. I just wanted to do this for fun because I thought it would be an interesting video for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah. Anyways, if you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as linked by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time. Keep on reading.